Well, hello, Hybrid Nation. It is I, it is James. Yes, it's me. I'm back from the grave. I've been resurrected. Actually, I just got a little break in a really hectic schedule to come to you guys live. The Hybrid Nation of YouTube. Rail fans. FOMAS! Aviation nerds! We are brought in here together to celebrate one love that binds us, that guides us, that leads us to greatness! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hybrid Hobby. This is James. I am back. DDT 2005. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you doing, DDT? Guys, I have been... DDT from Godvec. 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 <laughs> DDT, this is my alter ego. This is Hybrid Hobby. You know my other ego, James. But this is my alter version. I'm hybrid. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Tactical Tortoise. I love it. Facts and advice. I love it. Grand. Great. Wonderful. Alright, guys. Well... I went to TwitchCon over the weekend, and I broke my, uh, my clavicle, my left clavicle. I destroyed it uh, on a, a bird scooter. God, vac! I destroyed it on a bird scooter at full speed, guys. I was going like 30 miles per hour on a bird scooter, and I just ate it in the intersection uh, right in front of TwitchCon. Uh, the, I don't know what happened. I was making a turn at full speed trying to be crazy and the ground was painted. The streets painted over there in San Jose. And it just spun out from under me and I just went tumbling and... Yes, yeah, so I broke my collarbone, my left clavicle. So I'm a little in pain right now. Oh, shit! Sorry, guys. I just moved in a very obnoxious way. Ah! All right. So enough of me. Let's get back to the action here. So everyone, as you can see the title, we are doing a 4449 excursion. That seems to be the fan favorite. That's my favorite. I love it. God, Vec! So right now we are going to be running the 4449 excursion. And this is a special Caltrain excursion I, I, uh, I made up here. And the main reason, I just spent a lot of time here on the, in Silicon Valley on the San Francisco Peninsula in the la you know, for about the last week. And this area to me is very familiar right now. And uh, so I just kind of want to get that together. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to like, I like going to areas I've already done or seen and been to in real life and doing them and recreating them on train simulator. That's a blast. It's fun. Yeah, by not. It hurts. It hurts. Absolutely, man. Bledsoe, no, I do not know LaserJet. I know he's a, a YouTuber, but I do not know him personally. No, I do not. But yeah, my arm is, is killing me, guys. My left, literally, I'm and splint right now and everything so I'm gonna be playing this one-handed as well so bear with me if it seems a little scuffed a little uh, you know slower than normally it's because I'm literally playing with one arm <laughs> yeah d you guys don't even want to see the x-ray it's horrible it's horrible it's horrible but yeah guys anyways welcome back to hybrid hobby I have took a break here it's been a break about three months maybe I'd say since my last live stream uh, a lot of things have changed in my life here. I'm, I'm back to school. I'm back to school full time. I'm trying to get my master's degree. I, I, uh, I have a business. I run a business. Me and my father. So I'm very busy with that on the side. That keeps me very busy during the day. So I haven't had a lot of time to stream to you guys and really do much. I, I'm very, very busy with a lot of things. So I really wanted to take time out of this weekend here, especially now that I have a broken collarbone and I'm kind of stuck at my house. I really can't do much, you know. So I thought I said, hey. What the hell not? Let's stream! Let's stream to YouTube. Let's stream to the Hybrid Nation. Let's stream. I love it. DDT, it's so good to see you here, mate. I haven't talked to you in quite a while. It's been definitely a while, my friend down south. I hope all is well as you, with you. I don't know if you saw the pictures from TwitchCon, DDT, for the for Godvec. I went as James to that, and that was fun. That was really fun. That was great. Good stuff. But yeah, guys, we're back. We're back here. I have not even played this yet. This is Train Simulator 2019. This is the update. Uh, we're playing the 64-bit edition here. I have not played an, a minute of this yet. So, let's see. Uh, 
Well, oh wow, right off the bat, look at that, the 60, oh god, my arm, hold on guys, holy shit, I just used my left arm to do that, <laughs> alright, okay, so I'm literally forced to use one hand to do this, I tried to use two right now, I'm sorry, so yes, this is a 64-bit edition, as you can see, the locomotive does look a little bit more shiny, I mean, look at that, there's a nice, crisp, clear, definite, definite, definite difference here on the 64-bit edition, look at that, I can read this right here. Wow. I could not see that before on the 32-bit edition. That's very nice. And no, I have not tried entering the photo contest yet. I have just, I haven't taken, honestly, I've taken the last three months off from streaming and, and content and stuff. I just had a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, a lot of changes in life. So I'm back and I, maybe I will. I think this year, this next couple months, I'm definitely going to enter that. All right. So this is going to be also, you know, a cool tour of the 64-bit edition. I mean, I've ran this route several times in 32-bit, so this will be interesting. And again, guys, bear with me. I'm using one, one hand to do this, my right hand, my right arm. And as you can see, I set up this contest as an excursion would be on the Peninsula Corridor. You would have, obviously, you know, once the locomotive gets into San Francisco and pulls into San Francisco Station, there's no way for it to get out. There's, it's a dead end. So you would have to reverse it. So this is simulating a small excursion run on the San Francisco Peninsula Corridor. And obviously you can see we have a cab car in the back for reversing procedures once we get to San Francisco. So I would try to keep it as prototypical as possible for this route if 4449 was to run it at this modern day. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to pull up to the depot right here in Hollister. Up there you can see it right to the left right there. Now this depot... Sorry for yelling, guys. This depot has been converted to a Mexican restaurant in real life here. So, but right now we're going to be using it for the basically simulator purpose of picking up some patrons for our run into San Francisco. Now it looks like we have a 91 mile run ahead of us. So this is going to be a lengthy, a lengthy excursion, guys. And like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I have a broken clavicle, broken collarbone. I'm stuck here. Ooh, this thing is loud as hell. A diesel. You know, those MPs are pretty loud though in real life. I'm sorry guys, I think the main reason I was yelling is that the volume is so loud in my ears. That I do apologize about that. <laughs> I felt like I was really in the cab. I feel like I said, we are going to just pull up here to the depot, get a quick photo op, and we are going to be departing to San Francisco. Which is going to be a straight shot. We don't have any signal or any station stops. This is a straight excursion run. That's one of the things I like doing now on Train Simulator is uh, excursion runs. They're cool because that way we can mix old equipment with modern routes and modern things like that. And, uh, you know. Guys, give me one quick moment. Alright, there we go. Just going to be just that there. All right, so we're gonna pull up slowly here to the depot, as you can see. Oh, oh God! Can't go anywhere with those headlights on. What's wrong with me, James? There we go. All right, lights on. I'm gonna be creeping forward here. Don't want to get too much faster than the speed limit. Like I said, I do want to take a photo op right here in front of the Hollister Depot. I'm gonna be heading to Hollister, California Depot. So I just want to get a nice photo op with that and the locomotive behind it. Alright, so again guys, I'm playing with one arm, so just bear with me. My controls might seem a little out of whack as I back up using one arm here and kind of navigate. And 4449 is such a beautiful locomotive and I swear I can see the actual, a lot more detail with it, with the 64 bit here. Ah, Liam, no worries. Welcome. Welcome back to Hybrid Hobby. This is Hybrid Hobby, mate. Welcome back. That's good. It's glad, glad you're here. Glad you can make it. Better late than never, as I always say. I think it was actually a Thomas episode named that, too. I'm like, what is that? I remember asking my dad as a child, what does better late than never mean, father? I don't get it. 
All right. Uh, Cali Road Geek, this is going to be Gilroy. To, oh, this is the Peninsula Corridor extension. So it's the extension that basically branches out here to Hollister. And we're going to make a run through Gilroy up to San Jose. And then from San Jose, go through Silicon Valley. And then we're going to hit uh, San Francisco. All right, so I just want to get a quick photo up here. Make sure all the passengers are loaded up because this is where our excursion starts today. The Hollister Depot. Okay, again, guys, I have one arm here, so I'm going to try to just do this as quick as I can. Try and get a good photo up here. Give me one moment. I think that was probably the photo I wanted right there. All right, back to the action. So we're gonna go ahead and load this baby up. Let everybody know here, we're gonna be departing here in one minute. Oh God, my arm, guys. Sonic Mania, I'll have to check that out, let me see what that's all about. You know what, why not? I will look into that actually. I will. I've been actually wanting to look into that for a long time and I've just been so busy and I keep having like a little post-it note somewhere to do that and I keep forgetting. But yeah, I definitely will look into that. I do want to run an actual SP train with full daylight concerts. That'd be really cool. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and load up here. We are going to be leaving at 9.08. Looks like we got about 9.07 right now in 20 seconds. And once again, this is going to be a straight shot run. We're going to take this all the way to San Francisco. No stops, no station stops, nothing like that. Ah, foghorn time. All right, guys, we are going to be leaving here in 15 seconds. At this point, I'd like all passengers to board. We are now departing Hollister. All aboard. Well, she's trying. guys. But she looks so much prettier from this side, doesn't he? Look at that. Oh my god. What a beauty of a locomotive. Look at that warm California sun sunshine shining right on her. Oh, that's amazing, guys. Has any of you even seen 404049? I've been listening to me. 4449 in person. Uh, it's one of my dreams. I've never seen it in person. Oh, look at that. God, that bell, though. Let's go over to the rooftop. There's some rooftop action. Ah, speed limit's increased, guys. High ball! Right. Let's 
do this, guys. We're off on our journey to San Francisco. No stops, no delays. Just straight track. Let's do this. Nice, Liam. Very nice. Oh, shoot. Trying to advantage the speed. I'm looking at the chat. I've always wanted the CSP 4449 in real life. Never have. Haven't got the chance yet. But I will. I'll get there. I'll get there. Definitely something I want to accomplish in my life. Of course, we hear the sights and sounds of the daylight. There we go. And as you know, this channel was actually based on the daylight. Hybrid Hobby's main theme in the very beginning was 4449. And the orange of Hybrid Hobby is actually the orange of daylight. That's the orange. Nice, why not? Yes, I've seen 3751 myself and West and 14 yeah, or Fillmore and Western. The same thing. I take it by now, you're from SoCal, aren't you? Is that right? I think this whole single track run through this valley right here until we get to the actual main line. Liam, I might have forgotten, mate. It's been quite a while since I last streamed. I do apologize. It's definitely been a while. Right, we're off, guys. Nice, by not. Very nice. Very nice. And I, you know, I almost remember there was a comment on one of our recent videos that we did with 4449 of how to actually blow the horn in a different way. I'll have to look back. But I remember I was reading something. I don't know where it was. Someone mentioned something like that. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are off still here. We're still trying to break 25. We've not reached the highest speed limit yet. We do have plenty of great crossings. Very nice. Look at that. Beautiful California morning here in Northern California as we watch this daylight excursion train. Partner with Caltrain, roll up the peninsula. And I wish we can get to a little bit higher speeds right here, guys, because this would be some nice high speed running right here against these fields. This is beautiful. Is it the end key? That's what I thought, Cali Road. Exactly. As you guys can see our excursion here. That's a mix of some private cars with some Caltrain cars. Probably a typical prototypical style concept you'd see if there ever was an excursion like this that ran on this line. So let's get back in cab here, see what we can do with that horn. We'll lose a little bit of speed, get some throttle up for us here. Back up to 25. Oh, sorry, I was playing with the horn. Yeah, I think the N key works on the, the surf liner. That's what I was reading. I think it works on the surf liner cab car. But I don't think it works on this loco. I know we got Q. We got Q right here for the horn, the fog horn. Which is actually really cool. I wish they had this fog horn on the F units on this game. And the E unit, that Amtrak E unit totally would be cool with the fog horn like that, just randomly. I don't really care for this the vanilla horn that comes with the um, F units on this game. Alright, 
let me go ahead and just, I want to get her to a speed where I can pull up the map real quick. Just do a quick check, show where we're at. Alright, so we're passing that. Mile marker 88. Some next kind of an area of civilization. Oh, we don't have any, any areas of civilization, I think, until we get to San Jose. What is this? Gilroy, that's Gilroy. We got a miles to go. It's San Jose, I believe, is right here. That's New Hall. Oh, there we go. That's a service track. This has must be dear to. Yes, okay, so that's San Jose. So guys, we got a while to go until we can get to San Jose. This is an actual slow speed limit on this run right here. Oh, Bynar. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, Bynon, there's a, I think there's a Pentrex film that might have that. There's a really cool Pentrex film I always see here on YouTube, and I've never seen it actually in stores. I've probably got to find it somewhere. But there's a really cool Pentrex film about the farewell to Steam to the SP. Uh, I bet you we could probably find it on that. That's actually pretty cool. That'd be a hell of a sight to see. Ah, Fat Hill, hello! Welcome to Hybrid Hobby! Welcome to the Hybrid Nation! It's been a while, we've taken a break, but we're back. We are back, live! Welcome! All the way from, where are you coming from? Are you from India? If you are, welcome! So we're still on a straight flat out run here through this valley. I forgot the name of this valley. Is it San Yanez Valley or the exact name? In fact, I might pull it up on a map here, guys. Bear with me. Pull up on a map see exactly where we're cruising through right now. But it's definitely... Look at, look at that's beautiful. The 64-bit, guys, makes this look a little bit more legit. It looks a little bit more legit by far. Like, I remember playing this map... With, on 32-bit a few months ago, and now playing it on this one here, the detail is definitely, definitely improved. Definitely improved. And one of the reasons I'm so fascinated with geography, guys, is I'm actually studying geography. Uh, I'm trying to be a geography teacher here eventually. When I retire, it's one of the main things I want to do, so I'm trying to get my master's degree in geography right now. And that's why, that's another thing that's kept me so busy, guys, I went back to school. Like I said, I started studying that. I graduated with a business degree. And I'm like, you know what, I want to go back. I want to do something meaningful. You know, I'm going to study. I'm going to study geography. Because I love trains and routes and things like that. And mountains like those ones. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing, guys. It's keeping me so busy. But I do not see the name of this valley, but the valley leads right up to San Jose, and then we go right up the peninsula. I'm trying to see if there's an actual name. There's not. I would just call it Gilroy Valley. Zoom out. Morgan Hill Valley, one or the other, I don't know. I'm starting to try to become a lot more familiar. Ah, oh, from Indonesia! Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Oh yes, the Trona Railway Company. Absolutely, I've heard of Trona. Right out here in the Mojave. Um, actually, I used to. I grew up with uh, one of my uncles. He used to live out in Trona, and he would tell me all sorts of crazy stories of the Trona trains. Back when they had the power in the 80s and the 90s, which was so different than what they have today. Obviously, they have the old, all those SP, uh, you know, tunnel motors, like you're saying there, exactly. But yeah, Trona is a really cool place to be or go go catch some trains. What's really cool about Trona is they're very relaxed on their rules as far as, you know, their AAR rules. And uh, you might, you get to see some really high speed cool running out there that you wouldn't normally see on a class one railroad. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Ah, yes, Muhammad from Indonesia. How did you know, mate, there is a cab car at the end? Look at that. Look at that. 
See, I figured once the excursion train gets into San Francisco, we're going to have to get it out somehow, right? Because it's dead end. So I figured prototypically, what would Caltrain do in this situation? They would probably put, oh, speaking in my attention, they would probably put a cab car at the end, just in case. Just in case. But good observation. Good observation. Oh, nice, Cali Road. Nice, man. Very cool. I've been meaning to get out there. I haven't... I've got out there, but I have not actually seen a train running. I'm always out there chasing the Transcon. In Victorville to Boston and everything like that, but I don't ever really get any chance to get to Trona yet. Because Trona, if you, if you really want to get the, the you know the full of the full experience you got to spend a whole day doing it that's the thing and you know you can get some really really awesome footage though that's the cool thing about rail fanning the trona railway you know if you ever want to if you ever want to head up man hit me up i'm here in soca i live in fullerton so just hit me up man I'm right here by the station you know, i'm the same general area by fullerton station so one of the reasons i'm so fascinated with trains i grew up with them right here so yeah dude hit me up i'm always down to take a ride up to the trona i got my dudes that roll with me, I got a couple of crew, you know, so. Let's go rail fanning! Ah. Alright, so we are still cruising along on our 25 mile per hour speed zone. Yes, they do. It's, it's, I, go to, I go skiing up in Mammoth a lot, and you, uh, you pass one of the, the storage sections. Oh, yeah, because they have all the hoppers. That's all they, um, that's all they run, basically is the Trona. Trona goes in the hoppers. Liam, I'm not ignoring you, mate. What's wrong? Nintendo's newest console, the Switch. Yes, yes, Liam, I have. Actually, my little brother has one of those. I was over at my, uh, my dad's house recently. I saw my little brother. I'm like, what is that? That's a Switch. I'm like, that's a badass, man. Pretty cool. Very cool. Yes, Indo. Absolutely, we definitely need more U-boats on this game, 100%, I agree with that. Definitely, definitely more U-boats. There's not enough. I mean, they, we have that, what, that U-36B, is it? that's a pretty cool loco. I really like that one, but I mean, other than that, there's not really much. Not really much. Ah, oh, DDT, a geography, I knew you were a geography buff, DDT. I knew, I knew it. See, I know, you were in the Air Force, so I know you, you know, I know you know your stuff. I know, I would love... Damn, DDT, I would love to have a cup of coffee with you one day, DDT. I would love to come down down there, or if you ever come up here. But exactly, DDT, that's why you haven't seen me. I, I went back to school. I, I, wanna, I wanted to do something. You know, like I said, I graduated in business, and it's just been so boring. I just haven't felt like I've been living my true passion. So I'm like, I, I want to be a... I, honestly, too, this might sound funny, but I want to be a community college professor. I don't want to be a university professor. I don't want to be a high school I want to be a community college teacher because I feel like that's what people need the most help and the most connectivity you know with a teacher to keep pursuing their education and not just say okay I'm gonna take a couple community college classes and drop out no I want to make a difference definitely that's cool DDT we'll definitely have to chat some time about that absolutely ah Justin Hoffman hello Hello, welcome, man. Welcome, welcome back to Hybrid Hobby, the Hybrid Nation, the Hybrid Family. It's been quite a long time since we last crossed paths, so it's good to see you here. Welcome. As you can see, we're on kind of a slow speed run right now, just through this. I want to call it now the uh, let's just call it the Hollister Valley here of Northern California, in route to San Jose. So I believe speed limit on track speed right now is going to be 25 for at least the next probably 15 miles. So that's why I estimate until we get to San Jose is about 15 miles. Uh, but welcome back, Mr. Hoffman. Welcome back. By not, out of curiosity, are you into IndyCar or any kind of motorsport? You know, honestly, I definitely am into motorsports. I, I grew up with uh, racing cars. This might sound silly, but I grew up with, like, right in the Fast and the Furious era. So I used to, I mean, I know shame on me. I used to street race a lot in high school. I had a turbo Supra, and I was really into that. I was really into imports. Uh, when I graduated high school, I actually sold that and got a W06 Trans Am and got more into domestic vehicles and actually drag racing. And then I just started playing Forza all day long and got into road racing. So I'm a hardcore, I, I really like the Rolex series of racing. Um, I don't really follow IndyCar or NASCAR too much. Doesn't mean I don't like them. I just don't have 
time too much to follow them, but I think they're badass. You know, really badass. I started playing, uh, what is it? Is it iRacing? I think iRacing is a game, a new game. I started playing that for a while, uh, which is, is definitely, I have to give it to It's very challenging. It's a total different experience than other racing games that I've ever played. It's, it's very, very, it's like a racing simulator. It's not a racing game. So, yeah, I'm definitely in the, definitely in the cars and motorsports. Uh, we do have Jinx could be cursed or bad luck locomotive CC201. Copy that, mate. Uh, it's a CC201 45, we call it Sibida. Oh, right, you have to fill me more into that, Mohammed. Oh, you go in the Yuma sub. Nice, nice. The Yuma sub is very nice. The Yuma sub, you're talking about the UP Yuma sub, right? The one that runs along the Salton Sea and uh, through uh, like Nyland area and everything over there. Is that the Yuma sub? Is that, or are we talking about the same sub? Which video gaming character do you like better? Super Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog? In my case, I like Mario better, but what do you like better? Well, you know, I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta say, I like... Wow, that's a good question, because I was gonna say both of them, but these days, when anyone says, I like both, it's like, come on, man, which one do you like better? Give me a straight-on answer. Uh, I like Mario because he's Italian, and he likes pizza, and I'm really big on Italian culture, and, and I love Italy, and and pizza and mobsters and the mafia and stuff so so Mario's cool Mario uh, but Sonic Sonic's a badass like Sonic I kind of grew up with me and my, my cousin my girl cousin actually is a year older than me when we were kids we had Sega Genesis and we used to play Sonic the Hedgehog over and over and over and over and over and over again and my god she was so good she'd beat my ass every single time and get way more levels than I could ever beat so I gotta say, growing up wise and giving it to my heritage, I'll say I'll just go with Sonic, but Mario is badass as well. So yeah, that's my answer to that. Do you like the F1 racing cars? I love them. F1 is badass. I love open wheel racing. Number one, Muhammad, it's it's amazing. It's literally probably the most intense kind of racing you can do, and uh, F1 is pretty amazing. I, I, I re there's a really good movie. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm, I don't remember the name on top of my head right now, but it came out a few years back. Um, it's a it's an indie. I think it's an indie car racing. Let me see F1 racing movie. It was with Thor actually. I think Thor was in the movie. Speaking of Thor, but let me see. Uh, Rush. Yes, the movie Rush. The movie Rush, man, Muhammad. It's freaking amazing. If you haven't seen that movie, definitely go check it out. Cali Road Geek, you only see UP Intermoto with NS most of the time. Yeah, on the Yuma Sub, yeah, you're right, you're right. Now, are we talking about the same Yuma? I'm pretty sure the same Yuma Sub here that runs around the Salton Sea right there from, uh, where does it run from, um, what is the Yuma Sub run? What is it from, uh, come on, come on, James, come with your head. From Colton to Yuma, right? Is that the subdivision right there? Because, yeah, you know what, though, you do see a lot of Manifest. If we're talking about the same subdivision, there are a lot of Manifest train that run down that track. Especially trains that are headed to Mexico. I've seen a couple beat up old dirty manifests with a lot of Mexican cars on them. Do you like Hulk or Thor? Hulk or Thor? I, I like Thor because I've been told I look like Thor. And Thor is a very uh, a handsome mate. Thor's pretty badass, man. But, uh, but Hulk is pretty badass too, I gotta say. Man, you're giving me these questions where it's like this or that. It's like the same one. But I gotta say... I gotta say Thor. Thor's more of a badass to me because Thor is a god, where the Hulk is more of just a mutant. So I gotta say Thor. But you know what? I have not seen Ragnarok yet, so don't give me any spoilers or anything. I That is where I've left off in the Marvel series, so I still have to catch up with that. Yeah, you met a Colton Yard. Perfect. Perfect, Kelly Rodriguez. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. SD78 is the strongest in your country, right? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think there might be some, maybe I think that's been surpassed by the latest, uh, um, the tier four evolution locomotives that's come out, but I have, I actually, I don't know. Uh, I, does anybody in the chat maybe want to address that, see if we can get the correct answer to that? Ah, oh, yes, Liam, I'm always excited about Christmas, man. That's awesome. Nintendo, let let it rain, Nintendo, man, for you. But yeah, Christmas kicks butt. I've always loved Christmas. My birthday is actually... Ah, my arm! Shit, sorry, guys. I have a blo broken uh, left collarbone. Broken clavicle from falling on a bird scooter at TwitchCon. <laughs> but anyway, true story. 
Sorry, but yes, I love Christmas. Christmas is awesome. Good times. Uh, my birthday, actually, guys, is December 19th for all of those. But good. Yes, yes, Russia's about the Nikki Lauda James Hunt rivalry. A freaking amazing movie. I just love saying Nikki Lauda. Nikki Lauda taking the turn! I love it, dude, exactly. Exactly what it's about. The Great Train Wreck of 1918. No, Muhammad, please inform me about that. Yes, AC6000, I believe, is the most powerful diesel locomotive we have, but are there actually any still in service with the 6000 uh, Prime Mover in it? As far as I remember, most of them had a local, or the Prime Mover was re, uh, replaced with lower displacement, lower ho uh, horsepower output local, or uh, listen to me, Prime Movers. What, what is the, I want to know what's the most, what's the currently active, active right now in this moment, class one, most powerful diesel locomotive. Let's see in the chat who can find that information right now on Google. If you do, I'll send you a hybrid hobby t-shirt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'll, they're coming. I'm actually getting ready. I'm going to de design a really cool, look at that water, guys. Sorry to, that water looks nice in the 64 bit. So what steam loco Liam wants to know do I like better? SP4449, UP844, or UP4014? Well, I do have to say, 4014 and I have grown up together. Uh, I'm, a, I'm born and raised here in Southern California, right down the street from the Rail Giants um, Museum, where 4014 lived for in the last couple decades, and I used to visit it at least once or twice a year. So I am literally so stoked to see that baby running. I can't wait. You guys don't even know. It's going to be freaking amazing. Uh, but I, 4449 to me is my number one in my heart. I'm a, you know, I'm a FOMO by heart. If that's the case, call me that, whatever. But 4449 is my favorite steam locomotive. Always has been. When I was one, when I turned number one, one, numero uno, back in 1988 or 89, whatever year it was, my parents actually gifted me an HO scale Bachman Daylight 4449. And uh, I fell in love with it right there. And then I used to watch the, that 1984 Daylight to the World Fair. I think it ran from Portland down the West Coast over to Louisiana. I used to watch that freaking movie, guys, like every night growing up. So I am literally enthralled in my brain. You know, it's like subconsciously... In my head, that 4449 is my favorite locomotive. I can't do anything about it. But I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. It's just so beautiful. I mean, what are you, you going to do? Even in other paint schemes, you don't want to paint it all black. It's just such a beautiful locomotive. Just the aesthetics, the engineers with the aerodynamics, the way they designed this thing. Oh, it's just amazing. It's a beautiful freaking locomotive. Very, very nice. Yeah, Rail Giants is badass, guys. Rail Giants kicks butt. One of my favorite locomotives, too. I mean, museums. Absolutely. God, I cannot wait to get this puppy up to steam speed. We've only cleared like 11 miles. That's funny. 11 miles at 25 miles per hour. Let me just modulate, regulate the speed, guys. I'll pull up the map. See how much further to San Jose. I think we should be coming up to San Jose pretty soon. Here's Gilroy. That's Gilroy. So we're going to be passing Gilroy. I think the run to Gilroy to San Jose might increase our speed. I'm not sure. But as soon as we get into Deirdre, the speed does increase. But actually, we're all running the length of this map, which is kind of cool. Alright, another cool question. What do you think is better, SP or Sonic the Hedgehog? Liam, I do not know the answer to that because that question sounds like a fallacy to me. It doesn't really make much sense, so... I don't know, mate! You just confused me. My head hurt for a second. <laughs> I don't know. I can't just, I can't answer that one. Because, I mean, in what sense? Like, in what regard? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That's funny. Can you do a big boy double header? Let's so ask. You know what? 
You know what? Why not? Why? I think we could do that. I think we could do a special big boy double header. We'll do it on Sherman Hill. We'll get a nice long freight train of just straight box cars. We'll see how many box cars we can do. Sounds like a dang good idea. Oh, here she comes, guys. Quiet. There's a wild 44049 in the wild here, approaching slowly. If you don't be quiet, she'll hear you. There she goes. Listen to her. Very nice. But we're still creeping along, guys. We need to get this damn thing into high speed zone already. All right, your favorite loco from around the world, the SP4049, a CC50 liner, A4 liner, AOUPA40. That's a big list, Indo. That's cool. Good, good choices there, though. Good choices. I like that. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong at all with those. Ah, oh, yes, the destination. We're heading to San Francisco. Oh, God, my arm. Sorry, guys. Oh, my God, I'm in a lot of pain. Holy jeez. Sorry, I'm not used to not being able to use my left arm. And I just hit it against my desk chair and I just literally just screamed out in agony. I'm sorry about that, guys. Again, my left clavicle is broken, so bear with me. Uh, destination is San Francisco. Cali Grove Geek. Cali Grove Geek, you take care. Thank you for stopping by. Hybrid Hobby! The Hybrid Hobby Nation, the Hybrid Hobby Family. Thank you, mate. You take care. You have a great Saturday evening. Stay safe. I'll catch you later. Thank you for being a part of everything. Marvel Cinematic Universe movies I've seen. Iron Man through Captain America Civil War. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm right there with you, DDT. I'm absolutely right there with you. I think I'm right there. I stopped at Civil War and that was it because I think Ragnarok comes after Civil War and then Black Panther and then Doctor Strange and so on. So yeah, Actually, DDT, that's funny. I'm right there with you. And that's funny when, uh, when the most recent one came out, the Infinity War, I was like, no, no, I don't want to hear any spoilers, please. Oh, look, that's the main line. Look at that is the actual main line what Amtrak's Coast Starlight runs on right there, guys. And we are going to be getting ready to get off the branch. This is the Hollister branch we were just on. So we're getting off the hall. Look at the 64-bit textures of this locomotive. That's beautiful. So we're getting off the Hollister branch, getting back on here now. This is the coastline main line. And we're going to be taking this into San Jose, which will then direct us onto the Peninsula main line to San Francisco. It will divert us from UP's actual main line, main line of Texas and the Sacramento. So, as you can see, we're nearing the bay. This is part of the bay. This is the upper, or actually, what would this be? Lower San Francisco Bay Area, yes. How many Metrolink trains have you seen in your area? Any commuter railroads in your area? Well, Mohammed, I live right here in Fullerton, California, so I see Metrolink on a daily basis. Uh, every now and then when I head down south, I'll head down south to, you know, Oceanside or San Diego. We see Costa. That's what Costa commuter operations are. And this last uh, weekend, I was at TwitchCon for the weekend, and up in TwitchCon, yes! We've been cleared to 40 mile per hour, guys. Let's go ahead and get this puppy up to speed. Listen to that steam puff. So anyway, sorry to interrupt there. I was up in... Um, San Jose and I got to experience the Caltrain, Caltrain commuter operations, which is really cool. So, all in all here in California, I got, I've got to check out about at least three commuter operations. Liam, you take care. You take care, Liam. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being a member of Hybrid Hobby, the Hybrid Nation, the Hybrid Family. You are an amazing man. And uh, Liam, I'm always going to remember now, you are one of my the biggest fan of 4449. I got that engraved in my memory. This is for you. For you, Liam. Have a great day. I'm going to give an opinion on the two. Sonic the Hedgehog and SP4449. I honestly think the SP4449 is actually real and has been around for a long time. I like that. Good answer. <laughs> Very good answer, mate. But take care. I'll see ya. No, I have not seen the Altamont Commuter Express yet, if that's what you were just talking about, Muhammad. No, I have not. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, DT. I have seen Ant-Man. I've seen Ant-Man too. I've seen parts of Doctor Strange on Netflix, but I never really got, you know, ow, oh, my arm. Oh, I never really got, in, you know, into the full movie. I think I saw bits and clips, and that was about it. Yeah, oh, for that one, DDT, I remember for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I went on Wikipedia and kind of, I cheated, I got the cliff notes, <laughs> I kind of got some information on that, just so I can kind of catch up and 
you know, kind of get the information on that. And to see, oh, I think I did it on the wiki page, actually. I think one of the most things that fascinated me with the, the Marvel DDT and the agents was the uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury is uh, those big ships, those like flying battleships. Don't give me any spoilers or anything, but because I just remember from what we talked to so far, but those flying battleships, I think, what was that on Civil War? I think as well, those things are fat ass. And I remember actually being fascinated with those and then taking that and researching the heck out of it. All right, guys, so we are approaching Gilroy. We're about a half mile away from Gilroy. Coming into the Gilroy area. We are still about 77 miles away from San Francisco. So this might still be a pretty long run here. I'm just excited for when we actually get cleared for a little bit higher speed. It looks like we're gonna, I think we're gonna divert over to this track. Oh man, it threw us down to a 10. That's horrible. I don't need to see that. <laughs> It's still 10 miles per hour. We're going a little bit too fast. Why is this 10? It's because of the bypass track. Kind of ridiculous though. Come on, slow it down. Come on. Slow down, baby. Come on. Come on. Drop those miles. What the hell's going on here? All right, we go. Uh, so we're going to look like we're cruising through Gilroy. Ah, oh, Indonesia at wall from 39 to 45. That sounds actually pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. Now, Indo Rail Fan Muhammad, do you post your videos on your YouTube channel from your rail fanning? Nice. Let me see if I can pronounce it. The Gentangara Station. All right. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Alright guys, it looks like we are cruising through downtown Gilroy here, some more, as we're waiting to get our train back on the main line, we continue on to San Francisco, I'm actually excited to get to San Francisco. Did you hear about the Durango and Silverton Railroad being sued? No, by not, I did not. What happened? Tell me more, do elaborate. Man, I hope they don't shut down, I've never been able to get out there, I've always wanted to get out there. That's a shame. What are they being sued for? Now I can see why this is 10. This is a very, very little small, sketchy part of town. Uh, we got 35 approaching right after that last grade crossing. Looks like, guys, we're almost there. We can't remember, once we get, we pop past that speed sign, the whole entire train has to pass it for us to get the clear to accelerate to that speed. I will, I'll definitely check it out, Indo. Do you have those videos posted on your channel? Actually, uh, when we get to San Jose, I'm going to make a quick station stop. Because we I just looked at like we've been streaming for almost an hour now, and i got to get a quick glass of water downstairs. Hydrate box bugging me right now. No way, by not! Oh my god!
Wow. And I take it that was a pretty devastating fire, I assume. Ah, you like the 64-bit, though. It looks good, huh? I agree. It looks really freaking good. I agree. It looks like, guys, we're almost at a 79, too. That's going to be nice. Yeah, the 64-bit is definitely a big improvement. Oh, we're in 35 zone, guys. What am I doing? Still trying to go 10. All right, let's accelerate. Full speed ahead, gents. Looks like we're gonna clear that. I think we're gonna clear the 79 before we have to slow the throttle down. Never mind. Never mind. Listen, to it. we're finally getting into speed, guys. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the gift the train simulator is now providing us. Remember, this is 64 bit, so the sounds are gonna be different too. Not just the graphics, the sounds, the sights. I don't wanna say the smells, because we're not in that crazy of a reality yet, but almost the smells. This is full speed right here. We're at 79 miles per hour. We are going right through Gilroy. You guys, this is hybrid hobby. Yes! All right, guys, we are moving. For the first time in this stream, we are now gonna be at track speed. I love it. There's a few more stories on YouTube coming to matter. You should look them up if you have time. I definitely will, by not. That sounds like a very, very interesting, very, very interesting story. I'll have to check that out. But guys, as you can tell, I'm really excited right now. We got our train moving at speed. That is what's up. Look, we got some trackside views right here. Look at this. Nice. Finally, guys. This is when I love 44-49. She freaking flies. I love it. Let's go, baby. Rip Flair is not my dad. <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, three great crossings in a row. That was nice. We're still not at 79 yet. Very awesome, guys. There she goes. There she goes. Going along the California. Look at that. That's a picturesque sight. Move out of the way, mouse. No, you're not annoying me. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. This is about. I love hearing stories from the other side of the world about your real fanning. That's why I actually wanted to do this to connect with real fans from other countries, from other areas. That's great, man. That's awesome. Are, are, are these videos, Indo? Are they on your. Uh, Thank you, Indo. Thank you. Are, you. are all your videos, too, from your world fanning on your channel? I'll, actually get, I'll have to check it out when I'm done here. Dude, we are moving, guys. Look at this. She is freaking flying. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I remind myself of Gomez Adams sometimes. I love trains, and I love madness too with trains. And there's not enough great crossing. This is an awesome route once you get her to speed. Hell yeah, guys. This seems so natural. Just 44-49, going up the Peninsula Corridor. This is cool stuff, guys. Yeah, she's fast, right? Alright guys, so we are almost at San Jose. It looks like we got about a mile and a half. No, that's San Martin. That's San Martin. We still got some time to get to San Jose. 
We're not stopping at San Jose, guys. We got 70 miles to get to San Francisco. We're getting there. I really hope that the NRHS convention is held in Southern California sometime. I'd love to go and see one. Hell yeah, why not? I've always wanted to go to one, dude, since I was a kid, man. I agree. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Hey, Star Wars, what's up, man? Hoffman. It's happening. We are at speed right now. We are cruising through. Look at this thing, man. This thing is freaking sweet. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, speeding a little bit. Got my speed down. All right, so we got a 50 mile per hour zone coming in about a mile. We're back to a 79. So I'm going to go ahead and just slow it down a bit. This is going to be St. Martin we're going through right now. Now we got that 50 coming up, and we are good, guys. Oh, good, 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 good. All right. All right, so it looks like that 50 zone is going to be just temporary, a little less than a half a mile. So we'll go back up to 79. We're going to make that quick pit stop in San Jose and then on to San Francisco. We are now past the one hour mark on this stream. And again, this is a welcome back stream for Hybrid Hobby. I have a broken left clavicle. I'm playing with one arm, so bear with me. Bear with me, guys. That 50 zone coming up here. Make sure we slow it down just a bit. And we did. Perfect. Alright, coming up, coming up. Alright, perfect. Good, good, good. On October 19th, we celebrate the tragedy of the Nataro train crash in the 87, a head on train collision between KA 225 Patches Marek and KA 20 or 2220, 156 people died, 300 injured. That sounds gnarly, mate. That sounds gnarly. Well, you know, God bless those souls. Rest in peace. That sounds gnarly. I hope you guys actually have a, a national holiday for that, huh? That's pretty crazy. Nice, why not? You know, guys, I have not even had a chance lately to get onto uh, YouTube and check out other people's content. Like I was saying, I've been so busy. I went back to school and got a lot of work stuff going on. It's just literally schools every night, four or five hours of just constant reading about European demographics and sub-Saharan migration. So my brain right now, guys, is... <laughs> but trust me, but I will definitely have to check that out. Why not? I will definitely have to check that out. That sounds awesome. Nice, Indo, nice. Nice. I know, I'm not used to it. This is my first time uh, streaming. Like I said, I have a lot more free time on me now because with my broken shoulder, I can't really do much, so I'm kind of limited. So I thought, why not? Like I was saying earlier in the video, I'm going to stream. Why not just pick up where you left off, James, and hybrid hobby and bring him back to life? <laughs> you know? So I said, why not? We're streaming. Well, we just went through an overpass. So that's why I'm here today, guys. To come back to you, to come back to my hybrid nation. And to bring 44, 49 back, because we all know that's our favorite loco. Alright, so it looks like Morgan Hill. We are going to be approaching Morgan Hill here pretty soon. I don't think we're quite on the peninsula yet. Let me check our... Uh, map. Yeah, we're still down in the Gilroy area here. We are B-22, New Hall. Uh, where's Dearden? Okay, San Jose Dearden actually comes right after San Martin. So we're going to be taking our pit stop very soon here. I got to go. Oh, crap. Yeah, navigator. Just 
exhausted, but that was awesome. Alright, so San Jose should be coming up. It's going to be our next stop here pretty soon. On December 9th, 2003, it happened again at the same day. This time it was the KRL hit a tanker truck in the middle of the crossing. It says it is haunted. Wow. Yeah, that is scary. That's crazy. Two crashes in the same area. It sounds like the Cajon Pass here in Southern California. <laughs> like kids playing near the tracks, a headless ghost, and more spooky stuff. Oof. That does sound spooky, man. Why not? Did you ever get the chance to buy the Best Man Lake area route? If not, you really should. It's a fantastic route. No, why not? I have not. I have not made, I have not been able to do anything computer related or train related. Most of the time guys, I've been on my computer, I just basically have been doing homework and writing, you know, and studying and doing stuff. And uh, I haven't been able to do anything train simulator related. This is literally the first time I've played train simulator since the last stream. I have not even played it since our last stream. So no, I have not. I missed the, the steam sales and everything. I've been busy, like like I said, it's crazy. I thought San Jose was kind of somewhere here. Oh, let's see if this thing can reach 100. All right, we'll do it. We'll definitely do it. No, after the break, after I hit San Jose, then we will get, like I said, my quick break, some coffee, some water. This is a long run. We still got about 65 miles into the San Francisco area. Moving along here with our excursion, guys. Look at that. Quiet. Uh, she's no throttle. That's why. Oh, my arm. That's funny. You really can't hear anything from the front like that. <laughs> That's funny. Let's get her back up to speed. Thirty-seven fifty-one should triple over forty-four forty-nine and UK forty-four. Can you imagine if it did? That'd be probably one of the most craziest things I've ever seen in my life. That'd be one of the probably most. I literally think that would be like end game, end game right there. Like what? How are you going to top that in modern day steam excursions? There's no way to top that. There's no way to top that. No way possible. That would be crazy though, man. And no, that would be really crazy. That'd be nuts. How do you record? All right, well, well, Star Wars Hoffman, do you have a, what kind of graphics card do you have? Are you running with an NVIDIA graphics card by any chance? Oh my God, why not? I would be honored to, man. I would be honored to play them on stream for you. I will. I plan on actually have a whole little Christmas list of everything I want to buy on the winter sale. But absolutely. I just for you for that request file, I will definitely buy it. I would be honored to do that. Honored, man. So recording basically you do it multiple ways. Whenever I record I, I either use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience or uh, I will record with OBS so you can use either or those are the two easiest kind of basic things to do you have DMUs here in UK we have KRD Coretta Real Diesel yeah hop in a matter I mean if you have an NVIDIA graphics card then you can run the NVIDIA GeForce overlay experience pretty cool all you do is push like Alt Z and um, watch, I don't know if you can see it. But see, the GeForce Experience and Overlay will come up. I don't know if that came up on the screen for you guys, it just comes up on my end. But that'll come up and you can actually record street, boom, right there. So you could do that, that's an option. Or you can basically have OBS, which is a program you know that you actually use to stream from. And you can get OBS and you can use the record function on OBS as well, which is pretty cool, pretty easy. Where the hell is San Jose? 
I can't believe I'm moving at 79. Everything seems so kind of quiet. What outside view here? And she's at 79. Yeah, she's moving. Definitely moving. I'm sure we have it coming up soon enough. Okay, let's see if we can get a picture from this end. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go on the sunny side. Alright, so. Uh, we're speeding just a tad bit. Let me put up on the map. Alright. Oh, shit. I didn't. Why did I think we were so close? That's Tanian before San Jose. Alright. So it looks like we're coming more into the Bay Area here, guys. I can see the foothills here. And you can see the San Andreas Fault Hills over here coming up. I think it's what they call it. The Diablo Range. That's what it's called over there. Great crossing. From 1999 to 15, we have a... Have a tappers, which are people close to the roof of the train, they stop going on the roof in 16. Really? They don't allow people on the roof anymore? I thought that was like a still common practice. That's crazy. Crazy. How do you play TS with your Xbox 360 controller? Do you use a cable of so what? Type. Uh, yeah, you can. You just plug in the controller and uh, you can actually regulate the buttons and change the buttons from the interface in the menu. Chaotic Missy streaming, but they stream on Twitch! There you go, DDT! Everyone, if you give that, uh, give uh, Chaotic Missy, if you can, go to Twitch, give her some love, wish her happy birthday. Elgato HD60, someone record with that. Alright. Is that a program or is that a uh, video card? Pacific time. Give me one second, I just gotta check something here. Alright. Let's see. We are gonna be heading in here to the San Francisco San Jose area very soon. Try to record with that, see how that goes. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll see if I can help you out. No problem. No problem. Let's see what it looks like from Street View right here. Nice. Coasting on by. That'd be something cool to see, right? No, the tracks in front of us have disappeared. There they are. All right, so Blossom Hill is our next stop. It looks like right here in front of us. Strongest loco and oh, Hoffman, are you playing on a uh, PC or are you playing on Xbox? Strongest loco in Indonesia: CC202 and CC205 and Sumatera. If triple head, they can pull 120 barabajain cold cars. Wow. That sounds gnarly. I'm actually, fa you know, it's funny. It's actually I'm writing a, a research report on India in the next uh, for the next what is it? Next couple weeks here to do with my semester project. And uh, one of the reasons I did choose India was because of the trains. I love the trains in India and the railroads. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I have good 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 information. I'll have to use that. I'll have to consult with you if I need some inside information. Alright, yeah, so we are heading into San Jose. Hopefully pretty soon. We have about 55 miles to get to San Francisco. Ah, great call, so we haven't had one in a while. I 
not. Hey, I'm going to go eat dinner. If the stream's still going, I'm done. I'll come back to it again. Welcome back and goodbye. Well, thank you so much, Bynod. Welcome back to you two, to the hybrid hobby nation. The hybrid nation. The hybrid people stream. This is for you guys. I'm back. We're back. We're doing it. Train Simulator 2019. I might take a break. I might park the train at San Jose. I might have to go run a quick errand, get some, some a drink real quick, and I might be back later on tonight too. So if I don't see you, I will catch you later on the next stream. Good to see you. Good to be back. San Jose. That was a long route, actually. Shit. <laughs> I thought I would knock it out within like an hour and a half. That's too funny. This this locomotive though feels right at home in this area. This is exactly where these puppies used to run. It feels just literally right at home here. I love it. Of our speed here to our San Jose destination. Ah, it's morning there. Awesome. Go to Java by train. There's some beautiful scenery there, and the most beautiful route is the Jakarta to Bedug and Bedug to Peru route. The Bedug route that was formerly the Mountains. Morning. You know what? You are going to help me, Mohammed. You are going to help me with my semester project for school in India. I like that. You are going to because it has to be. Because I'm studying geography, it has to be like a, a, a tour. Like I have to put on a tour. At least it's gonna be a tour. So I'm gonna put on a tour of India. And mate, you just gave me a great idea. I'm gonna totally consult with you on this. You're gonna help me. I'm gonna give you all the credit in the world. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. That's awesome, man. India is a beautiful country. I love it. I've never been there. It's literally one of the most. Probably one of the most. I want to go to Italy first, Germany, some parts of Europe here and there, and then I want to go to uh, India. All right, so we're going to be approaching here the San Jose area. We're going to start reducing our speed a little bit. A little more aggressive on these brakes here. Get us a nice cruising speed into the area. And we got, it looks like a 25 mile per hour, we're about a, a little bit over a mile and a quarter. That'll probably get us right into San Jose Station. train. Very cool. Your speed is modulated. That's an old Caltrain contest. I saw one of those this weekend in San Jose. It's funny because I had kept that from my, asking my buddy. So it was a new contest or an old contest you rode on? <laughs> we got a yellow. Oh, we are speeding. I didn't see that. Forty. We're going to be rolling through taming in here. I'm just going to have our bell rolling. Roll through 
go. Spin again. Oh no. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got that 25. Though. I didn't see that. Slow it down a little more drastically. Ah, 25 creeped up on us. Alright. That was a weird little maneuver there that made us do. Famous tunnels from Indonesia like the Sakasata Tunnel from Tunnel, Kavazan Tunnel, and famous train bridges, Suru Kikubang is 50 meters high and 300 feet long. And the Surahong Bridge. See, yes, I'm gonna send you some DMs. We're gonna talk about this. This is gonna be really good. Picture time. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so where are we going to the San Jose? So we gotta speed back to 35. Creep up into San Jose here. It's right along this curve, that's what I thought. There she is, mile out. Let them know we're coming. Indonesia, US, and Indian Railways is your favorite. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice combination there. Alright guys, so we are pulling in Deirdin here. We have about a quarter mile in. Pulling into the area here. We are speeding. Oh no. Alright, we are now arriving in San Jose, guys. Very nice. Look how beautiful she looks. That 64 really bit, really did a number. I'm going to be stopping here in San Jose. Oops. Set our brakes here. Alright. We made it. Alright guys, this is San Jose. Again, welcome to San Jose. I thank you for being a part of this leg of the journey. That's a nice shot. Screenshot, screenshot! Oh my guys. Ooh, I like that one. Let's see if I can get a little more angle on it. Yeah. All right, perfect. 
Woo! Uh, the horn on this one to activate the frog horn is Q. Default is going to be Q. All right, guys, it is now time. I'm going to take a break. Let me just first save this right here so we can continue on with our journey later. All right, we are here at San Jose. I will be live again very soon. Yes, Muhammad, I got to go run a few errands, grab some dinner. It's dinner time over here on the West Coast, about 6 o'clock. I'm going to grab some dinner, take care of a few things. It was a lovely little stream here. Good to be back here on YouTube. This is Hybrid Hobby. Once again, James, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Indo. Muhammad, it was great to have you here with me. DDT, it was amazing. Always a pleasure. We're going to have to talk soon. Binot, it was great. Starworth, all of you guys. Had a great little stream here. I'll be back. You know I'll be back. I will be back here probably either tonight or tomorrow. And if you don't even see me tonight, catch me on Twitch. I'm going to be playing Grand Theft Auto on Twitch. I do have a Twitch, okay? Remember that. Grand Theft Auto. I play Grand Theft Auto on Twitch quite a lot. <laughs> so, you don't ever see Hybrid on YouTube. He might be on Twitch. All right, guys. Have a great night. Take care. Hybrid Hobby. Hybrid Nation. I'm out.